So here's a very fast tutorial on how to um, import videos into Logger Pro and use it to collect video analysis data. If you want a longer tutorial on, on all the steps, uh, the nitty gritty details, then um, click on this link that's appearing now on your screen. So the video I want to um, I want to record the data on is this little guy here. I want to find the speed of this car. All right. So I've got that stored in my physics folder, and now we're going to open up Logger Pro. Insert. Go to the movie and then find it. Okay. We want to make the screen as big as possible. Okay. And first thing I want to do is click on this button here to open up the toolbar. We're going to choose the fourth button to set the scale. There's a meter stick in our video. We always try to put something like that in there. You can tell it's one meter long. Okay. Um, I'm going to move the video forward until I see the car. And I'm going to choose the tip of this little antenna right there as point that I'm going to click on. So I'm going to click on that point as it goes across the screen. Right. So before I start that, I'm going to click on Movie Options. Uh, right click on the video. Right click on the video. Choose Movie Options. And then I always want to do this. I want to check on, click on the first VA point defines movie time zero. That sets the first data point that I click on will be the zero second mark. Um, and that's uh, definitely something I want to do. And this because I know that there's so much data between you know, the left hand side of the screen and the right hand side. I'm going to make the frame rate. I'm going to have the frames. I'm going to have it skip every five frames so I don't collect data forever. Okay, so I'm skipping. Um, I'm only collecting every fifth frame worth of data. So I can collect more data if I want to, but this is plenty here with five. Okay, so I'm going to back up the um, the video until that my little antenna just appears. So there it is. I click the the red add point button. And then I click it, boom, and the video automatically jumps ahead. Now, I'm not being super careful here, but you should. Okay, take your time collecting data. Again, I'm not doing this. I'm not being very careful. Okay, and so every time I click, the frame, uh, the, the movie is advancing, in this case, five, five frames, because that's what I told it. And it's collecting... The position time data. Time is timestamp from the video, and the position, it knows where we are on our world. It knows the length of our world. The next thing I want to do is I want to choose this button here, the third button, the set origin button. And I can set the origin over here, for example, and have all my data points be positive x um, direction. Or I can click over here and have all my data points, for example, be negative x. So I think I'm going to click over here. Notice that the camera was not exactly level, and so my, my axis is a little below my data points. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate the axis by grabbing this yellow ball. I'm going to swing it up and down until the data points whoop, pretty much align there. Okay, And now I'm done with this. I'm going to click the white arrow here because I don't want to accidentally start collecting data. Okay. I'm now done with the video. I can hide it. Um, I want to point out that over here is uh, data, time, position, and x and y, and velocity in x and y. Horizontal and red, vertical and blue. Of course, the car did not move vertically, so we don't really care about that data. Okay. So I'm just going to move this over here, make it smaller. And then make my graph smaller so I can see the video as well as the graph. Okay. Again, I don't care about the Y data, so I click over here on this axis and I choose only the X. That gives me um, just the X data we can see here. 
Um, some buttons here you can choose from. The examine button. You can move your mouse back and forth along the along the uh, graph. And notice that the video on the left is moving uh, with that. And also notice this box here is telling me what the what the position is for each of these red dots, and also at what time that data point was collected. So I can close that. If I want to fit a curve, perhaps the the best way to do it is just to um, uh, choose. You, you know, you don't want to highlight. Well, if if you have data that you want to or that you want to um, do a curve fit for, highlight that data. If you want all of the data, just simply click one time on the graph and choose the curve fit option. Okay, and you choose which fit you want: proportional, linear, quadratic. You can scroll down and see there's a whole bunch here. Okay, obviously this is linear data. So we choose that, and then you have to click the Try Fit button. It gives you an OK. Here we see the slope is negative. The y-intercept is positive, 1.75. Notice the units, meters, and the slope is in meters per second. This plus and minus, plus, minus, this gives you the uncertainty of the slope and the uncertainty of the y-intercept. We can hide that in this class if we want to by right-clicking on the little text box here, go to Linear Fit Options, choose uh, Uncheck the Show Uncertainty, and you can also change the precision here. Okay. If you want to make the, the words bigger, you can always click on the appearance and change the font size if you'd like. Okay. So here it is without the uncertainty, which is fine, I think, for our class. Again, if you would like more information, more detailed information on how to use Logger Pro and what all the buttons do and all the features are, I recommend that you click on this video that's popped up here on the, on the screen and you can see a much longer, much more detailed video on using the Logger Pro video analysis. But hopefully this gives you a quick uh, overview, a quick snapshot of how to collect data uh, using Logger Pro.